Hello friends, welcome you in this video tutorial. In this video tutorial, I am going to teach you how to use Eclipse shortcut. So you can see on my screen. So I have categorized, I mean Eclipse shortcut into different categories. So first category we are going to learn manages files and projects category. And in this category, I have kept around 13 important Eclipse shortcut. So let's start with the first. First Eclipse shortcut is Control plus N. Means you will have to press Control and N. And this is the shortcut to create a project using the wizard. So here is the Eclipse, and here I can press Control N, and this Eclipse wizard gets gets open. And here you can select java project and give the project name i would say test project and click on the finish button and click on the enter so here project is getting created so you learned first eclipse shortcut to create a java project or create any kind of project by pressing control plus n control n so this was the first eclipse shortcut now let's go ahead. Now second Eclipse shortcut is Alt plus F and after that you will have to pre press Preade sign, Preade sign. Preade sign you will have to press or you can say dot. So once you, once, using this uh, Eclipse shortcut you can open your uh, user home directory. So let me show you how to do this. So to make it working this shortcut first of all make sure that your cursor is not on the editor so your cursor you have to uh, put on the uh, project explorer or uh, or you can put on the even console as well so i am putting cursor on the uh, my project explorer and what you have to press control uh, sorry alt f and then a, a dot so i am i'm pressing control f and then dot and here you came into your user directory and there you can see m2 is a uh, maven directory right so sometimes if you want to go in your maven directory then you, you will have to remember this shortcut alt alt what is the what is the shortcut alt f then is alt f and then dot and you got into your uh, user home directory so that is the shortcut to go if you have a i mean some kind of uh, i mean where you have created a project space or uh, uh, if you want to go into your maven home directory then this is the way to go this is the one of the shortcut for eclipse now third in this category we have a control shift control plus shift plus r and this is the one of the uh, one of the my favorite shortcut so using this shortcut you can search any resources in your project any when i say any resources then you can search any java file any xml or any kind of properties file so let me use this shortcut in my clips so control shift r then this pop up comes out and here you can search like uh, i can search bank right uh, sorry bank service look at here so bank service dot java this is the file in my workspace in the different project so basically this search searches file from the entire workspace not to the specific properties even you can search you can use wild wildcard searching as well so you, i can put a star dot properties right a star dot properties right so here is the property file you can search property file even as well right so this is the one of the important shortcut to search any resource file from your project now next shortcut we have a control shift t so if you want to search any class file class or any interfaces within a jar file so control shift r is used to search any resource from your 
uh, your uh, project itself right i mean classes which you have created but some classes or interfaces might be available in, in the jar file and if you want to search those classes within the jar then you will have to press press control shift t and pop-ups comes and here suppose you can here you can type uh, you can search for the any classes like i can search for the string which is the part of the jdk java lang dot string so here is the string class i have searched by using control safety again control safety i can search any class which belongs from the third party jar let's say a spring framework jar so here driver manager data sources i had searched earlier so that's eclipse is very intelligent tool so that is showing on the top of the list itself so so that is going into the jar if you click on arrow sign then look look at here my in i mean a project explorer that is showing that is this class is available in the spring jdbc release jar so control shift t is the one of the important shortcut to search any class or any interfaces from a jar file now next fifth shortcut we have a alt enter and the description is written that show and access file properties so let's see what happens so alt enter now to work this command also you will have to put your cursor you will have to keep your cursor away from your editor so my uh, cursor is currently i mean away from the editor and press control enter and you you are here right here you can sometimes suppose if you have a requirement to change compiler version right so we know that we have to go we can go uh, we can reach here by using this pre preferences tag right and we can reach here but if you want to go by using a eclipse shortcut then you have a alt enter so using alt enter you can go uh, to the properties and you can make uh, some uh, setting changes over here so this is also one of the my favorite eclipse shortcut now sixth you might be aware about this control s suppose if you make some changes in the current file right if you make same change over here and if you want to change this current file whatever changes you have made then control s you will have to press so this is the one of the shortcut to save i mean changes in the current file itself now suppose if you have a many if you, you have made changes in the many files right many files and i have here i have made changes in the test.java again i go to some other classes this is my interface here what i will do i will make some space so i made changes over here then go to here in the another class and i will i will put some space over here so right now in my work space you can see the star a star means this there are some changes in these files but we haven't changed till yet but i want to save these all changes in one shot to do that we will have a command control shift s this will save all files so put your cursor on the editor and do control shift s and this will save your all unsaved file in your workspace so i hope you got you got how to use control shift s shortcut now next in the list we have a control w or control f4 if you want to suppose your cursor is in this editor right so this is the one of the class i had created in my previous project so if you want i want to close this then by using mouse of course you can close from here but how to close it using eclipse shortcut to do this we have a we have a uh, eclipse shortcut command control w or control f4 if i press control w then current file is getting closed 
and save you can do using control F4. Now next, uh, suppose if I have opened lot of classes in my, uh, lot of files in my Eclipse and I want to close all files in the single sort. To do the same, we'll have uh, two commands. Either you can press Control Shift W or Control Shift or plus F4. That will close all open file in your Eclipse. So let me do Control Shift F4. That is going to close all open file in my workspace. Let's open three files again. I'm going to use Control Shift W. So that is going. This command is going to close all open file in my workspace. Now F5, uh, F5, this is basically used to refresh any selected files. So if press any class and press F5, so this will refresh from the local file system. Now uh, we have a, another uh, shortcut, Control plus T for toggling be between the subclass, superclass and subclass. So if I open my one of the class, I mean this is the custom exception I had created in my previous project and if you press control T, so look at here, this is showing the uh, subclass superclass hierarchy. So my exception is the subclass of exception, again exception is the subclass of throwable and throwable is the also subclass of finally object class of as we know that object is the superclass of all classes in Java. So you can see the, I mean, uh, parent child hierarchy by using control plus T. Now, next in the list, we have a control shift G and most of the Java developer this, uh, this shortcut uses frequently in day to day life. So suppose uh, I want to check some variable, right? I want to check some variable like uh, suppose I select this uh, bank door and I press Control Shift G. So this will show you all occurrences of this variable, right? So Control Shift G, which searches the workspace for references to the selected method or variables, or you can say. Uh, I have a doll layer method and I select this method and I press Control shift G. So this will tell me from where this method is getting called. So basically this method is getting called from the uh, bank service IMPL. Look at here. So you can search. I mean you can select any method and press Control shift G or even you can select you can select a variable and press Control shift G. And that will give you the list wherever uh, this method is getting called or wherever uh, I mean selected variable is getting used in your workspace. Now last but not the least we have a control shift L to view listing of all Eclipse keyboard shortcuts. If you put your cursor over here and press control shift L then this, this will show you the all uh, shortcut which is available in the Eclipse. So this is very good. Sometimes you forget some Eclipse shortcut and if you want to check it, then this is this list is already available in your Eclipse itself. So what you have to do, you will have to press Control Shift L and list is in front of you. So you can check the shortcuts here itself. So that's all I wanted to show you in this video tutorial guy. In next series of video tutorial, I'm going to show you some more Eclipse shortcuts. So please be with me there itself so that you can learn Eclipse shortcut and you can uh, you can improve your day-to-day -day life coding speed and you can have more productivity in day-to-day -day life. So that's that's all I wanted to teach you in this video tutorial. Thank you so much for watching this video and see you in the next video tutorial.